Hi guys, this is James from Discover China and we're in the top southern city of Guangzhou. In a few moments we're going to take a stroll around the block here and we have a very special guest who's going to be joining us. So this is the one and only Michele Ponte, all the way from Rome in Italy. You want to say hi? Hello everyone, nice to meet you. So, how does it feel to be back in China? Absolutely great, I'm super spoiled by the new visa. I got uh, two weeks for free, no paying, just showing up at the airport, fantastic. I don't know so much about that policy at the moment because for some reason they haven't opened that policy for people from the UK. I don't know, you guys you got out of Europe, it's your fault, uh, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Is it very easy to use? Yeah. Policy, yeah. Completely easy, you just need a ticket and then you get in and get out. Uh, I just it for two weeks, right? Yeah, or 15 days. I'm going to use it for two weeks. <laughs> okay, yeah. And uh, now you're back in China, what are your plans for the next four nights? Uh, I want to go to... Actually, I wanted to come here to Guangzhou, yeah. <laughs> Shenzhen, uh, Zhuhai, Hong Kong, Macau, uh, all this area. I want to explore this area very much because last time I was in Chongqing, Chengdu, uh, Wuhan, Xi'an, so I need to change. <laughs> I need to explore a new part of China. Of course, I've been uh, following your channel uh, quite a bit, and you know, I've seen you've been you spent a lot of time in Kenya. Yes, been home to like Italy, Poland. I was recently also in Russia. Oh yes, you were to Kaliningrad as well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so you know, over the uh, the past, you know, say six months or so, what have been like these? What have been the big highlights for you? Oh no, um, it was a fantastic opportunity for me to be back in Europe, uh, spend some time with my mom. Like she never sees me, or she sees me once a year. So uh, I was happy to be there. I was happy to enter Russia. I don't know if with the Russian passport stamp I'll be able to get back to the U.S., but it is what it is. And. Uh, I love traveling. There is nothing else I love doing more, so it's absolutely fine. When you've been back home in Italy, have you ever like, had people uh, tell you what they think about China? I've, I've convinced uh, more and more friends to come visit China. Actually, one came uh, uh, last August. Uh, a bit through the videos, a bit through the stories, because people outside of China are very skeptical of what's going on in here. Uh, they see the country in a way that doesn't really represent the reality, but you know how it works on Western media. So they don't know that I could leave my telephone hanging like this and 99.9% .9 cases it will not get stolen. So it is what it is. It takes some time to change people's perspective. But they know that China is growing because they notice many, many Chinese tourists spending lots of money in Italy. So they know that something good is happening. Yeah. So. Out of all these visits to China, have you ever encountered any problems before? No, the, the only problem is the language, you know, the language barrier is huge. And uh, the country needs to do some apps that are translated in English for tourists coming here. I think there are millions of tourists coming every year. So if it would have been a bit easier to get tickets, uh, pay for stuff, connected to international cards, now, fortunately, WeChat is a taxi accepting one of my cards. In the past, it never worked. I was forced to use Alipay, but I cannot charge it because they cannot verify my identity somehow. Like, it's so complicated as a foreigner to pay in China, especially not one that is living here, but one that is coming as a tourist. So most tourists are forced to use cash and uh, they cannot charge their account if they are able to activate Alipay. So. I don't know, there are many things that could be fixed, but takes some time. Sure, and I suppose in the early days for me, the language barrier was a bit of a problem. Uh, it took me a couple of years to get over it. Yeah, yeah. But it's tends to find though, they, for the main things, you know, when you're going through immigration or I suppose maybe the, the banks, maybe aren't always that great at English, but by the is like, you know, hotels and all that. So I think, you know, for the, uh, the, the essentials, you can still find people here. Yes, okay. but you grew up with the country. So you saw the development, you learn on the way. Uh, a tourist doesn't have the time to learn and to spend time here. He has like two weeks. So in a two weeks vacation, you try to achieve the max possible. And uh, I know that Alipay and Wish they can fix everything, but it's gonna take some time. Okay, yeah, so your, uh, your hometown is in Roma. Right, in Roma? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's where I grew up. But then uh, my mother is from Poland. So every summer I spent like August in Poland. So I speak Polish. You can speak Polish? Too? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I cannot write it, but I can speak it. It's basic. 
uh, it's pretty useful when I see grandma and my cousins and so on. You know, there are cousins who speak great English and others who are the answer to me in Polish, like like your daughter, so to you in Chinese. So I need to adapt. So, what's this life like in Rome nowadays? So, um, good place to live. Would you say? I think it's a great place for vacation, not a place where to work. And uh, life in every country is good when you have money, when you can afford uh, such a Lamborghini. So. <laughs> Um, I feel like Poland right now is uh, having better job opportunities, better development, faster development. It's also cleaner and safer. Italy is more beautiful because we are lucky. We are born in the center of the Mediterranean Sea. We have all this ancient stuff and so on. Uh, so between the two countries, if somebody like from China would like to work, I know Italy has also better weather, but if you want opportunities to grow, an economy that is still growing, uh, and uh, it doesn't feel the inflation as much, I would suggest Poland. And uh, Poland is more like uh, the Chinese cities, like, uh, like Warsaw, for example. Very organized, very clean, very safe. Yeah, I've never been to Poland, but you know, when I was 20 years old, I didn't go to, I went on the Erasmus scheme. Yeah, where did you go? Uh, so I went to the University of Lviv. Ah, yes, yes, yeah. you mentioned it. Okay. play between Milan and Genoa. <laughs> you, know, you know, Milan is kind of very, I mean, at the time at least, it felt very uh, industrial. And, yes. Yeah. But, you know, Pavia, what I liked about it, you know, it was like a very traditional. But you know what? Italian town. You went to Italy at the right time. Right now, Italy is changing. Uh, there is way too much immigration. Uh, Italians are not making kids, so we import people legally or illegally to, to Europe. And uh, yeah, I heard the birth rate is in the, is it in the one. Yeah, we, nobody makes kids because nobody can afford it. So uh, it's becoming very, very messy and complicated. Honestly, I have friends, let's say they make uh, in, in a couple 3,500 euro per month net and the bank will not give them uh, the loan to buy a house. So if you don't buy a house, you don't make a kid. The biggest memories from Pavia was, of course, playing football with all of the international students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's probably the fittest I've ever been in my whole life. Oh yeah, that, that's what happens in such situation. That's one of the reasons. I think Italians are so healthy compared to other people following our diets because there is a cycle of life. Like you walk a lot around, you meet with your friends, uh, you do these sports. Food is much healthier than... Lots of olive oil, right? Yes, much healthier than in the US. If you eat the same Italian food in the US, suddenly you get fat, same quantities, because of all the stuff they put inside. So, yeah, if you want to be in shape, go to Italy. Or come to China, because everybody's skinnier than me here. <laughs> so you're in Guangzhou for only one day, right? No, uh, so I'm based in Zhuhai. Maybe many Chinese don't even know about this city because it's so tiny and unknown, but uh, it's in the middle of all these famous cities. So I'm using Zhuhai, like I will go one day to shoot videos in Guangzhou, one day in Shenzhen. Uh, I want to go to Hong Kong, to Macau, and so on and so on. So, okay, Zhuhai makes a really good base. Max, it makes a perfect base. Like to go to Shenzhen is just like one hour via boat with a ferry. So here is one hour to get to Guangzhou, uh, two hours to get to Hong Kong. Uh, five minutes to get to Macau. So I, I think actually it's the location and being less famous of a city, there are cheaper uh, hotels, apartments, and so on and so on. But today you took the high speed train to get to Guangzhou. I think it's high speed, it's like one hour or 59 minutes maybe. So. Uh, what was the experience like? I mean, as a foreign tourist in China, was it easy? Uh, yeah, 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 no, absolutely. And you know what I love about Zhuhai? that the train station is being so small compared to other cities in China. It takes three seconds to show the passport get in immediately. Like if you are in Chongqing or some major cities, uh, you have to get on the line, uh, wait, 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 wait. And uh, it takes you 30 minutes, one hour to get to the station in Zhuhai, five minutes here inside. Oh, uh, amazing. It, okay, it, so getting in and out, is it? Yeah, yeah, it feels more like Europe, you know. Maybe because the city is smaller, so. Yeah, it totally feels like Europe when it's fast to get inside the train station. I look forward to seeing all of the videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. At the end, I will spend one month in China because um, I will do like two weeks, get out, and then get in 
because you know you should go to Hong Kong and Macau, you get out. Yeah. So it's gonna be one month. Uh, I'm gonna produce at least four videos. I'm gonna try to make more, maybe a few live streams. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, it's been fun. It's been fantastic seeing you again today. Like quite yeah, really pleasure, yeah, man. Uh, gonna follow uh, your videos in China very closely. Yeah, for the next uh, two weeks, and uh, I really hope you can beat that uh, hundred thousand subscriber mark. Ah, oh, very soon, very soon, no doubt, no doubt. Great, well, uh, thank you very much. I've really enjoyed this little stroll, and uh, hopefully we can do this again sometime soon. Yeah, somewhere else uh, on the planet, no problem. Okay, cool. So uh, for me, Discover China and Michele Ponzi, we will catch you next time. Bye.